a well-known TV host mugged and attacked on the CTA. It's one of two violent attacks on the red line in just the last 24 hours. He spoke exclusively to CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov. She joins us in the loop in front of the red line. Dana. Erica and Brad, that attack happened at the Addison Red Line stop as the victim was heading here downtown. That victim is actor Will Klinger. Klinger is a well-known and familiar face to many people here in Chicago. Is the former host of Wild Chicago on WTTW. Tonight, he remains in intensive care after being beaten unconscious and tells me he never saw it coming. I don't have any offender information. This says it, um, it was robbed and hit and bleeding from the head. And the offender is no longer on scene. That's the police response around 9 p.m. Monday night as the victim, 64 year old Will Klinger, lay unconscious on the Red Line Addison Stops platform. I was definitely taken by surprise, Dana, uh, in a big way. Tonight, Klinger shared this picture of him in the hospital and talked to me by phone while waiting for a second CAT scan after being hit in the head. He says he ran after a couple that suddenly reached out and grabbed his phone as he sat on the train. They ran as the doors opened at Addison and he ran after them. There must have been a second guy in the next to the other door who got out and waylaid me with a pipe or something as I was chasing him because all I remember is running and then suddenly falling. And I, I don't even remember hitting the pavement. That's the last he remembers before waking up in the hospital with a brain bleed and contusion. Klinger, who hosted the popular WTTW show Wild Chicago for a decade, was the second victim of a violent red line attack Monday. Chicago police released this picture of a suspect who stabbed a man at the red line's Belmont station early Monday morning. Have individuals out here, they feel like they can do whatever they want to do and then get away with it. Says CTA union leader Eric Dixon, responding to concerns about CTA violence and information obtained by CBS2 that police have suspended investigations into five other violent CTA attacks. It's scary on the CTA apparently now. Klinger says he'll be more careful at night and with his phone, but believes the CTA needs to step up. So I think they, they could use some more personnel. Uh, you know, both on the trains and on the platforms, frankly. CPD Transit Police tweeting they now have a suspect in custody for Klinger's attack and also another robbery on the Red Line train at Thorndale earlier in the evening Monday. Klinger is expected to get out of the hospital sometime on Tuesday. He has another bit of advice. If someone steals something from you, he says, don't run after them. In the loop outside a red line station, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.